13.3 B, absolute value inequalities, less than. If you have the absolute value that's less than two, this means that the distance from zero is less than two, which means between negative two and positive two, it is somewhere less than or in between. This is a graph of a compound and inequality. It can be written as x is greater than negative two and x is less than two. If the absolute value is a less than, then we set up an and inequality. Let's see this below. Here's example one. It is a less than, so it is an and inequality. We first write it as three x plus seven is less than six and three x plus seven is greater than negative six. We now start to solve. By subtracting seven from each side, we get three x is less than negative one. We then divide each side by three, giving us x is less than negative one-third. And then we solve the second one, giving us three x is greater than negative thirteen. Divide each side by three, and we get x is greater than negative thirteen thirds. We now need to graph this. Let's start by putting zero, negative one-third, and negative thirteen-thirds on the line. First, we have x is less than negative one-third. So we have an open dot going towards negative infinity. Next, we have x is greater than negative thirteen-thirds. So we have an open dot going towards positive infinity. We then look for the portion that overlaps. This would be the area from negative thirteen-thirds to negative one-third. And we draw this portion onto the graph. So we have an open dot at each, and we fill in the space in between. Then we write our interval notation, which is parentheses negative thirteen-thirds, comma, negative one-third, parentheses. And this is our answer. Let's look at another example. Here's example two. It is once again a less than, so it is an and statement. We start by writing four x plus one is less than or equal to two, and then we write four x plus one is greater than or equal to negative two. Now we're going to solve each. Subtract one, and we get four x is less than or equal to one. Divide each side by four, and we get x is less than or equal to one-fourth. And we subtract one from each side, and we get four x is greater than or equal to negative three. Divide each side by four, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative three-fourths. Now we need to graph. We put zero, one-fourth, and negative three-fourths on our graph. First we draw the less than or equal to one-fourth, which means we have a filled in dot going towards negative infinity. Then we do greater than or equal to negative three-fourths, which is a filled in dot going towards positive infinity. We now choose the overlapping section, which is from three-fourths, negative three-fourths, to positive one-fourth, and all the area in between. Now we can write our interval notation, 
which is bracket for the closed dot, negative three-fourths, comma, one-fourth, bracket. This is our answer. Remember, when solving absolute value inequalities, if they are less than, it is an and inequality, which means you copy down the exact same statement without absolute value bars, and then you write the same thing with an inverted sign and a negative.